to close out the conversation of vaccines, let's talk about the booster. Yes. And I'm going to give you my true opinion on boosters, right? I haven't taken a booster, by the way. No les quise decir in case no venían, by the way. But <laughs> uh, now on the booster, I do feel that, hey, like I took the vaccine because, yeah, there's so many things going on. And like you said, it is better to have something. Huh? Mm -hmm. But then the booster makes me think, okay, so then is the booster every three months? Is it every day, every week? Is it every day? Like, and then now I put myself now personally, like I'm healthy overall. I do exercise, which is one of the biggest things um, as far as the, the, um, the mortality on this disease is like if you're overweight and stuff like that, right? So I say, so it's okay. Chances are they'll be okay. And going back a little bit to that mindset of pues es que they haven't tested, is the booster a little bit more of the other vaccine? Is it like a booster? Que, no, pues está tu chocomil. Again, again, my my own personal thing. So I haven't gotten a booster because of that. And I don't think I'm going to get one because of that. Right. Because, again, me thinking that, all right, I got the main thing. I got my main medicine, if you want to call it that. I should be good. Yes, to because I don't think COVID's gonna. And I'm gonna ask you this right now. I don't think it's going away. I think it's just gonna stay with us in some way, some some shape or form, right? Correct. So I'm like, I'm not gonna take COVID. I mean, boosters every year, every six months. So I haven't taken that. I don't know if a lot of people share my mindset. Uh, but what are your thoughts on the boost? I have a question for you. Oof. Go Do you for take it. a multivitamin? Oh, God, that's such a good question to ask me. Yes. Okay. Do you just take it once and that's it and expect that those effects are going to be lasting? You got me there. Okay. I'll now. Be, uh, food for thought, right? Yeah. So that's what happens as far as vaccinations. Right now, this um, with. Now, is there, uh, let, let me turn up to you and I'm sorry. Yes. This is the first time I hear of a booster. I have heard vaccines for stuff, so tomatela. But a booster, do we take boosters for the like the other vaccines that we? Some, yeah, absolutely. So, which ones? Yes. I, I never taken a booster See, or like something else. That's the weird thing that a lot of people don't realize all the vaccines that are they actually require to... boosters. Yeah. What? Yes. So the flu shot, for instance, you get one annually yeah, because that's a booster. Variations. Not me, but okay. Um, Tdap, the tetanus, you tetanus. get every ten years. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's when you get stuck with the rusty nail. Okay. So you want to make sure that, you know, I mean, every single time if you have one of those encounters, you want to make sure that you're vaccinated for that because then it, it could lead to complications. Is this vo a booster the same vaccine? Is it a different thing? It's, it's the, just, same, it's it's the vaccine. same thing. It's the same component. Okay. Because we've we held these clinics ourselves. It's the same vaccine. It's the same one that's arriving. It's just that you're getting a booster immunity. So think of it like... Um, sound waves right Ooh, okay perfect right for yeah. a podcast and here i am just trying to give you an example so you can understand in context so the sound waves are going like this right so that means that it's going well right as far mm. as the sound but all of a sudden it just starts to plateau and what happens that means that there's no sound coming in right I, this again i'm trying to give you an example same similar as far as with your immunity right you're going to have those those uh those uh fluctuations but then there's going to be a point where okay if you're no longer getting exposed to it and 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 there's a high infectivity rate which is where we're at right now you want to give that shot that jolt uh, as far as in your uh, in your immune system so it could start producing and we could get you back you know i mean uh, as far as being protected you know what i mean those anti uh, antibodies to protect you What's the recommendation right now on boosters? Like just one after, I, I don't know, talk to my boosters. I have no idea. What is the recommendation right now? So as far as the boosters is after, I think they, they just updated, I think, up to five months after your prior, uh, first series now. Okay. It used to be six months, and I think within this past month, they already updated now to. Are five. you saying up to six months after I've taken it? What if from like. The last, I, from the last, from your primary series? Mm-hmm. Then uh, five months have lapsed, take your booster. What if I didn't do that? Do I still take another booster a year after my original vaccine? So, it, again, this is a new virus. Yeah. So it's still not been approved as far as for you to be taking concurrent boosters at this time. The one that's been the EUA, the emergency use authorization, you know what I mean? It's been right now authorized for currently a third dose, which is considered the booster. Um, and currently. all companies have this booster like Pfizer todos or just one brand yes. that has this booster but there is recommendation so for okay. example if you receive Johnson uh, Johnson uh, which is the one that gets you at 70 percent they've now done research where they recommend for you to take an RNA vaccine which is either the Moderna 
or the um, the Pfizer. So it gets you up to that 90% as far as immunity. Interesting. If you have Moderna or Pfizer, you could interchange it. They're mRNA, so you're fine. Okay. Now, just to counterattack to what you told me right now. Okay. I couldn't come up with a better word. Um, like, am I right that if I'm a healthy individual, no asthma, of course, no like underlying conditions at all. And, and the biggest thing is, again, my, my, my exercise, my um, do I still need a booster? Yes. Okay, dime por qué. Okay. Let me give you and a, give me another uh, example. Like the the only, first one that you said it was great, by the way, but give me another one. Oh, let me give you an example. I know Go that we're saying that as far as if we're healthy, then there's no need for vaccination, right? No, no, not vaccination. No, but but um, let me just give you an okay. example. Um, well, I have some... <laughs> as far as boosters, right? Uh-huh. Um, when it came as far as this is this is uh, a, uh, one of our friends that is cycling mm-hmm. and pre-COVID prior to vaccination being available. I mean, it, it, COVID affects everybody different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This gentleman, like this guy, he was a cyclist and he is like in top shape. You know what I mean? And he ended up getting COVID to the point that even five months later, he was with his oxygen tank. I ran into the store with him. And someone from El Paso, like someone that you know. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, completely like seriously, uh, the, uh, gym, cyclist, and that takes endurance for you to be dry, uh, riding for X amount of miles. Yeah. And so, again, you just don't know. I, I feel like at, at what point do you want to make sure, if, I guess, do you want to risk the odds? Now, as far as boosters, yes. I. Uh, one thing where I. I do recommend them overall as far as because of the high infectivity they're having mm-hmm. right now at this current time. Uh, every single body reacts different. You might start uh, that immunity start may start to dwindle down and you might not know thinking, hey, you know what? I'm covered. I already got my series. And guess what? Then you go out and guess what? You're going to get it. And those are the breakthrough cases that you're hearing every single day that are happening. But if you actually deep dive and you start looking at those, guess what? Um, I had an individual because that's what I do, right? We uh, Auc Health as well. All of the employees have to call us. And so when I'm doing those calls, I, I, I there was an individual that, that he got COVID again okay. after a vaccination. But I really took it a point to have a conversation with him. And then he was like, you know what? And he's like, no, no, no. He's all like, it is a blessing as far as vaccinations. He's like, I had COVID prior to vaccination and he says i was like dying he's like to the point that it it cost me to even get up to go to the restroom like that's how much in dire pain of fatigue and tiredness that he was and he says as far as now that i have covid after vaccination and booster guess what it's like a bad cold and i'm like i'll take this a hundred times and i was like that was a perfect example as to how vaccination works